Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. Not long ago, BlackRock did the right thing by registering for an exchange traded fund, ETF, that follows Bitcoin. When it comes to exchange traded funds, BlackRock is well versed. Asset management has presented an exchange traded fund, ETF, that follows EFA, and the firm has already registered for the iShares Bitcoin Trust, a spot Bitcoin ETF. In a recent statement, SEC Chairman Gary Janis stated that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission is currently reviewing 8 to 10 applications for spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds, with the intention of sanctioning multiple funds at the same time. However, no spot crypto ETS has been approved thus far, even though some are based on cryptocurrency futures. The CTF token experienced an astounding 400% surge in value and a phenomenal 150% increase in wallet holders in the two days following its launch, adding to the current buzz surrounding XRP's official recognition as a cryptocurrency token by the Dubai Financial Service Authority. A user-friendly channel for passive income can be created by highlighting the coin's potential and the developing community on the official crypto trading fund's Twitter feed. A district judge named All as a Taurus made history in July when he or she issued an order stating that XRP is not a security. Free CTF tokens are being distributed by the XRP crypto community in conjunction with the crypto training fund. A cryptocurrency called XRP has been causing quite a stir recently, and everyone knows it. Just in case you weren't aware, over 300 banks around the globe have already started using Ripple. The idea that it has the potential to utterly disrupt current financial systems, especially those dealing with cross-border payments, is what makes it so interesting. Users have long griped about the inconvenient, inefficient, and costly nature of your traditional banking systems, and they hunger for a more efficient and cost-effective alternative. Since Ripple's incredibly cheap cost and lightning-fast transaction speeds are two of its main selling points. This begs the question of what criteria banks should prioritize most when choosing whether to use Ripple. In comparison to the days it can take for traditional banking systems to handle the same request. It takes only a few seconds to initiate and complete an international XRP transaction. This effectiveness not only saves time, but also lowers transaction costs. Picture this, you wanted to send money over international borders, but it was as complicated as sending an email. By cutting out intermediaries, traditional banks have considerable control over the movement of funds and maintain a highly centralized structure. The XRP Ledger, on the other hand, is a distributed database that powers XRP. There is complete independence between every node in the network. By empowering users with greater agency over their own wealth, XRP boosts faith in monetary transactions. People who do not have access to traditional banking services may soon be able to use XRP, thanks to decentralization's ability to change our perspective on and interaction with the world's underbanked and unbanked communities. Location, verification procedures, and economic status are a few of the factors that make it hard for many customers to access financial services through conventional banks. Through the incorporation of XRP smart contracts, it is possible to automate and simplify many financial activities. Doing away with middlemen in the associated problem. Because XRP prioritizes interoperability, it may function in conjunction with conventional financial services, making the transition to it easier and less disruptive. People who were previously unable to utilize standard banking services may now be able to do so thanks to XRP's decentralized and easily available characteristics currently in place monetary systems. How might the rise of XRP affect well-established institutions? Let's examine some real-world case studies and talk about it. The efficiency and low cost of XRP's decentralized financial solutions encourage more people to use them compared to the traditional banking system, which puts traditional banks under pressure to adapt to the growing competition from XRP as more people use their products and services. In what ways does Ripple help? Although XRP presents a significant danger to these long-standing financial organizations in the future, it is crucial to recognize their adaptability in light of new technology. Banks show flexibility. Traditional financial institutions may decide to upgrade their services to stay current. Instead of seeing XRP as a direct danger, 
Financial firms are adjusting to the changing regulatory landscape by utilizing blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies in their operations. There has been a long history of regulatory compliance, which has made it very difficult for XRP and other cryptocurrencies to guarantee regulatory compliance. It's possible that conventional banks are better suited to deal with these matters, including facilitating the integration of digital currencies, regulatory authorities, and XRP, and ensuring compliance with financial regulations. Instead of seeing each other as rivals, developers may work together to build a system that promotes cohabitation. Traditional banks and XRP might work together to find investing solutions that work for both parties. While dealing with XRP, Wealth management and customer-centric services may be the areas of focus for conventional banks as they strive for efficiency in cross-border transactions. In order to better serve their consumers, these two financial institutions may form an ecosystem by integrating their capabilities and providing a broader range of services more efficiently. That being said, the technological gap is a major obstacle to XRP and traditional banks collaborating. Crypto and blockchain integration into the existing conventional banking system will necessitate substantial investment and restructuring. In addition, overcoming these technological hurdles might be challenging for both sides. We need to conquer technological hurdles and win over customers' hearts before we can usher in a new era of finance with XRP. Traditional banks have a long history of addressing clients' demands through familiarity and trust. Traditional banks can diversify their customer bases and their roles in the economy by targeting certain markets or providing customers with tailored financial solutions. It is also possible for more traditional organizations to offer personalized services by leveraging their current infrastructure. By leveraging this aspect of trust, conventional banks can emphasize their enduring dependability as a foundation of monetary stability. The efficiency of XRP in cross-border transactions is a nice bonus. The continued intense competition between XRP and conventional banks in the financial sector, however, may encourage both to enhance and broaden their offerings. Customers would have the option to use either traditional banking services or the more efficient XRP, which would encourage healthy competition and the evolution of financial technology. This might lead to the creation of a dual system. To understand the impact of Ripple on the efficiency and effectiveness of global transactions, we need to examine some real-world case studies. Take a look at the case studies of the big banks that have used Ripple's technology in 2018. One of them is BMO Santander, a Spanish bank that used Ripple's to speed up and improve the efficiency of its international payments. These are the two main ways in which Ripple has altered the dynamics of these cross-border transactions. It used to take days for payments to reach their destination before Ripple transactions, which settle in seconds, came along. The result has been less expense for the bank and happier customers. Another renowned financial company reportedly employs Ripple's technology to simplify its global operations, according to Bank Standard Chartered. Faster, more inexpensive, and easier than ever before international payments are here. It's all over today. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.